Oh, what a tackle by Bade, man. Superb, superb. What a tackle by Bade. Hi guys, my name is Gaurav and you're watching F Aisha Games. So today we are going to review this uh, Bade's uh, latest card and he's 6'3", medium high work rate, 3 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, right footed player and a mostly lengthy player on a shadow. Guys, this SBC costs around 38k, which is quite cheap, can only play as a centre back. Pace wise, he looks solid on a shadow like 88 acceleration and 90 sprint speed is nice. Uh, what I liked about this card is the pace split is nice because what happens is the acceleration of the players is too low like it's in the 70s like mid 70s uh, which is not nice according to me because they should have an initial acceleration otherwise they should have play styles like quick step or rapid plus to increase their pace which is not there uh, so the pace split is actually nice shooting wise it's okay not that great Passing looks decent, dribbling wise he is agile, like for a centre back 83 agility and 80 balance is actually nice. Reactions and composures a little bit on the lower side like 84, it should be in the higher 80s like 88, 89 will be fine. Composure is okay. Defending wise again he looks solid. Uh, physicality very nice like 95 strength, 92 jump with 82 aggression is nice and he has got 75 stamina as well. Uh, defending uh, play styles he has got jockey, anticipate, slide tackle plus bruiser. And he has got this relentless playstyle which will help with his stamina in the second half. So guys, he has got some decent playstyles for defending which will be helpful. And for a 38k card, or you can say a 40k card guys, this is actually crazy. The card is actually solid. Like it's not bad. Uh, I don't know, a footbin people have downvoted this card. But looking at the stats, for a 40k player, this card actually looks nice. So I'll be testing him out in a couple of games and guys I'll be testing him out and checking whether this guy is worth the price or not. Like 40k he will be worth it. Like you can get uh, VVD for 60-70k. Uh, so he is not expensive either. And VVD is the best uh, center back in this game. But if you need another one, uh, if you need some other options which can do the job for you, you don't want to use VVD anymore, you want something different then let's see if this guy is worth the coins or not so i'll be checking him out in a couple of games and then i'll be back with the review and the good part guys one more thing about this card you can fit this guy in the evolutions which is actually nice like you you have to pay like 75k for this evolution let me check yeah we have to pay like 75k for this evolution and what happens is the pace actually improves his composure improves his reactions improve and his defending also gets a massive bo boost, like it's 90 defending now. The awareness looks good, everything is almost touching the 90s and his strength and jump also improves. Uh, along with this ping pass playstyle which he gets for doing that upgrade. So guys, uh, the card is actually looking nice. For 100k this card, I think it will be worth it. I compared it with the uh, like uh, that 700k version of Saliva, so he is going uh, toe to toe with that card. There is not much massive difference between the two guys. This guy was actually better in some of the stats and Saliba is better in some of the other stats. So it was like that. It was not like Saliba was overpowered uh, when it comes to the stats. Maybe the AI of Saliba will be better but I am yet to test this card so uh, I cannot say it right now. But after using him on his base version, the 87 version, we will come to know whether his AI is good enough or not. And play styles wise, uh, like Saliba has got anticipate plus and intercept, which is actually very nice. But this guy has got this slide tackle plus, which will be helpful in the game. And this guy has also got this relentless play style, which will again be helpful after 70 minutes because his stamina won't decrease. So there are a few things about this card, which makes this card looks actually interesting. Even if you pay like 75k for this card, this card will be valued around somewhere around 100-110k. And getting these stats with these playstyles for 110k, I don't think it's a bad option. So guys, let, let me just quickly test him out for a couple of games and then I'll be back with the review. Bade. Let's look at the ping pass. Good one. Karincha. His pace looks good, guys. His pace actually looks good. Oh, what a tackle by Bade, man. Superb, superb. What a tackle by Bade. Bade. Another good, good defending and good passing under pressure. Very nice. Good work by Bade there. Good work by Bade again. So far, he is looking great, guys. Guys, Bade looks impressive. 
like 38k for this card guys you can see you can see his presence man he just look looks like smalling i don't know if someone is noticing this but he looks like smalling in game which is actually nice man so far the first game was impressive let's see how he performs in the second game we have coming up for you is action from the champions playoffs it's the saints good work there by bade are come on man ea sports yaar good work by bade there Good work by Bade. What a reach! What a reach, man! Again, good work by Bade. Good, good pass under pressure by Bade. I want lucky bro Good work there good interception good anticipation by a lovely boy Bade So guys I used this Bade card for four games so what I observed about this card guys in his box uh he's an absolute unit guys his pace was not a problem he was having good acceleration he felt good while uh, like catching up with the opponent and he was outpacing them as well because he's a mostly lengthy player and he has got 88 acceleration and 90 sprint speed which is actually good defensively he was very solid and he has that presence in game as well like he was not feeling like a short cb or something like that who doesn't have any presence he is he has got a build like he is huge he looks like small dini like if i compare him with any other card if you have seen that 88 rated card of uh, smalling in uh, Uh, FIFA 23 this card was actually similar to that guy and his jockeying was also nice which was actually very nice like you can hold the ball with him and pass it to the other guy and this guy was not miss passing which was another advantage and his vision is also decent for a center back all in all guys strength wise yeah he was getting the ball he has got a strong build and that looks uh, when you see him in game so everything about this card was super nice guys he was winning the headers as well maybe his heading accuracy was not that perfect like van dijk still own set like in his, an opponent box if you want to score headers van dijk is the guy this guy was decent but nothing too crazy with the headers because he doesn't have that aerial and power header trait tackling animations crazy sliding tackle great like all in all excellent card guys 40k is just a bargain for this guy and he was anticipating the ball as well like sometimes he was intercepting because of this anticipate play style if ea would have given him intercept as well na This guy will be an absolute unit in the mid, in the center back position, guys. He will go toe to toe with Van Dijk. Trust me, this guy was actually crazy. It felt similar to the Smalling card in FIFA 23, or uh, 23. And everyone knows how good that card is. And the best part about this card, guys, this one FS glow up. And if you boost this card, this card looks actually sick, guys. His defense improves, his agility balance improves, his strength improves, his jump improves. and his pace also improves along with this ping pass which will be helpful in certain situations where the opponent is applying constant pressure because every guy I was facing was doing constant pressure from the start for some weird reason like they cannot play a normal game they will press you from the start that is how they play so it will be helpful in those situations and guys all in all 40k for this card it's a bargain go for this card i'll say this is a must complete sbc if you want to try out a new cb from la liga go for it guys go for it like i enjoyed using this card i didn't see any issues in using this card this guy was actually good his pace was good his passing was good his defense was nice van dijk is still clear of this card don't get me wrong like van dijk is still good uh, and slightly better than this card but he was not bad either he was good he was actually very very nice and yeah guys i just loved this card I hope you enjoyed the review of uh, Bade guys uh, and I hope you all complete it as well because this guy is actually decent. Uh, that's the review for Bade. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please like the video. If you haven't yet subscribed the channel please subscribe it. Don't forget to click on the bell notification and select the option all so that you don't miss out on any of the videos I create in this channel. If you have any queries about this card or any other card in EFC 24 please do mention in the comment section and I definitely reply. That's it for today guys. My name is Gaurav. You are watching a Fire Chat game. Bye. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.